okay before we do that uh, we need to create the peer gateway in gcp go to peer uh, vpn gateways i think i have some old entries here which i'm going to delete and then create a fresh aws vpn gateway okay looks like this in use aws vpn to gcp gateway two interfaces um, the two interface ip addresses are here let me go ahead and copy them paste it over here Click on create. Perfect. So the peer VPN gateways are created now. Now I'm going to add VPN tunnels to these uh, VPN gateway. First one is GCP VPN Gateway Tunnel 1 and uh, okay for some reason even though I have a cloud router which is present already on GCP it is asking me to create a new cloud router um, this is weird but let's go ahead and do that Let me take the first IP address, paste it here, and then the pre shared dynamic router create cloud router TCP router six five four three four save and continue. And then I configure the BGP session. BGP, GCP, BGP session one. And if I remember it right, uh, the periods and on the AWS side is six four five one two. Let me check that once. Yeah, it is six four five one two, and uh, the link local IP block. The link local address. Save and continue. Click on create. Now let's go ahead and delete this cloud router, which is not required. You should not have two routers with the same Google ES and numbers, so it's always good to have unique ASN numbers I mean you should have unique ASN numbers okay it is trying for the first handshake meanwhile let's go and create another VPN tunnel too P gateway P IP address
And the address range would be click on create. Let me pass the video. Uh, it might take some time for the handshake to happen. Okay. Um, I think by now uh, the PGP session is established. Let's go ahead and check the PP internal status. As you can see, it has established connection from GCP Cloud to AWS Cloud. Uh, the BGP session is intact, the IP internal status is in intact. Uh, let's also check it from the AWS side. Let's go ahead and check the VPN connection on the AWS side. It, as you can see, the tunnel details here, uh, they are in, currently in up status. And uh, we can also see there is one BGP route uh, that is available. So let's go ahead and check the route tables on the AWS side, you can see that it has the IP address block of GCP and similarly you can also check the routes on the GCP side, you can see that it has the IP address block of um, AWS. So the route has been established, now let's go ahead and uh, do a connectivity from our GCP instance to the AWS instance. Um, so this is the private IP address of AWS instance 10.104.57.207. I'm going to connect to this private IP address of AWS from GCP. So let's go and try that. As you can see, from Debian connecting to Ubuntu. Great. Um, okay, there's a um, catch here. Looks like I don't have the correct, the correct permissions on my key pair. I'm changing that and then I want to try it again. Great, now I'm on to AWS from Google's cloud show. I have established connection to AWS EC2 instance. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please contact me on LinkedIn. Thank you.